Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great and in this video I'll continue working on the wings I've been having some difficulties on these wings uh, Really complicated stuff, it's all first time especially with the molds and stuff like that But of course I need to finish this A380 before summer, so let's get to work Alright, these are the servos and I uh, learned this trick from Mike Beatty. Uh, I think he's done the same thing on, on Scrabby. I think he did the oil cover thingy with the same trick with some clear tape and release it and they will have like it's perfect with the screws. I made three cuts for the flaps and for the aileron as well. It looks beautiful. So, this is the mold for the right wing, already covered it with vinyl, I like this trick, it was fast. And already applied one layer of wax on top of this, just to make sure that it will release. I did the same for the left wing. And so now I will cast that and glue the uh, structure inside, because I need to make sure when I glue the main spars, I need to make sure that they are, uh, that, that they will fit uh, and match left and right wings inside the fuselage. So if I need to make any adjustments, it will be much easier to do it when the wing is open. So now I will start casting and I will add the first layer of fiberglass, 160 grams. And the second layer is going to be carbon fiber. This is 240 grams per square meter. This is from Easy Composites. They sent me a bunch of stuff for the A380. Uh, carbon fiber, resin, fillers and tools, some really cool stuff. Uh, actually, Easy Composites, they have their own YouTube channel and they do video tutorials. And I actually learned a lot from them, uh, how to cast and uh, how to uh, do resin infusion and stuff like that. I will leave links in the video description for their YouTube channel and also for their online store where you can find basically everything you need. So this is the top side of the left wing, I decided to cast it because the print was done and because I like to try new things I thought I will cover the whole mold with uh, epoxy. Now I've done the same thing on smaller molds before like engineer cells and the results were amazing but because this is so big I spent I think 3 hours just sanding and uh, I, I wasn't even finished. And so I just decided to cast it anyways, the surface was not perfect but definitely much better than the vinyl without any sanding and stuff like that but i think it's not worth it um, in the future i simply use primer it's much faster but yeah the results uh, were okay the top side was smooth still needs some sanding and filling but it was okay Yeah. 
All right, uh, I think this turned out really nice. Uh, I'm happy with it. It's not like 100% perfect. Uh, there's some like pumps and stuff like that, but this can be all like with two layers of primer and sanding. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there are some, you know, tiny ups and downs, but that is not a problem. And so now I will install this inside the retract base inside the wing. Of course, there's still so much to do uh, before I glue this. Uh, the spars, cables, uh, the engine's uh, mount. I will have to install two in here, which are not done yet. I need to finish designing these. But uh, at least I have the right wing there so I can install the spars. And so I will continue working on the left wing. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. It's Christmas and that means big sales. They recently launched their annual Christmas event and prepared some large discounts and coupons to reward their customers who continue to support them. Get up to $20 free coupons and up to 52% discount on 3D printing and CNC machining. Go to bcbway.com to learn more. All right, so I just got the main spars in the fuselage and because I, uh, at the time when I made the molds for the fuselage, the wings were not done yet. So I made this channel in here that I use now to align the wing that I made after I made the fuselage. And so with this, I could align both sides 100% with the exact cuts for everything uh, for the wings. And I made this bracket, this will go inside the fuselage and the wing spar, this is the wing spar, it's 40 millimeters and it's aluminium. This will sit like this and of course this main spar I will cut it in half and they will be mounted like this one here, uh, one there. And I will of course glue it here and reinforce with some carbon fiber because I need this to reinforce the whole area or the whole wing box is very important. So now I will glue this inside the fuselage and hope that the wings will be 100% aligned. Let's do it. Alright, both spars are uh, glued for now I, and I added a second bracket for the front spar, I need that as well and unfortunately the main spar did not really reach in there, I have some gap, uh, there is no problem because I will un like reinforce the whole bracket and now this is all glued with epoxy uh, mixed with carbon fiber in here 
and of course I will reinforce both of them with uh, two layers of carbon fiber so I'll have this whole section really strong and then after that I'll go ahead and cut these these parts will go in the wing cut these glue them in the wings so next I will reinforce these with some carbon and then cut them off All right, um, I cut these out of eight millimeters plywood. Uh, this plywood is really strong uh, and much heavier, of course, than the plywood I used uh, inside the wings. I don't know, they have different names, but I have no idea, so I just know it as plywood. Anyways, these are the balance for the ADFs and already made four of them. Now, before I glue them inside the wings, I need to make sure that they are on a straight line uh, with the fuselage. So when I mount the ADFs, I'll have a straight thrust angle and that's very important and what I am supposed to do is just glue the ones on the ribs and these ribs are supposed to be also straight but I remember I did some twisting and stuff like that so I'm not sure about that uh, so I need to find a way to check if they are really on a straight line or not and um, I don't know how but I have to make sure that they are straight
Alright, the two violins are glued and they look amazing and I made sure that they are 100% straight and for that I used the mold itself because you know the lines, uh, the layers are straight and so I just draw a line where the engine nacelle is and I made sure that they are straight and now they are perfect and I actually, I used this 5 minutes epoxy and honestly these stuff are really cool, uh, it's black and like it, it becomes really rock solid and i'm really happy with that so now i will start preparing the wires inside the wings i have lots of them especially the ascs i did reinforce this area because i want to cut a hatch for the asc and it has to have some kind of ventilation i want to make some cuts for some air to go inside just to cool down the ascs so uh, i will start preparing the wires for the wings Alright, left wing is ready for the cables to be installed. I have this ready in here. I have to make another set for the right wing. And of course, I have to also prepare the wires for the ACs. Uh, those two ACs are going to be separated. Uh, more about that, of course, later when I install the ACs. And I've also got some nice LEDs from Enoflayer. I will install these, uh, of course, inside the wing before I close them. And the ASC mount, uh, just this one, I had to move it a bit forward. I thought it's better like this. I had so much room in it, so it was I thought it's better like this. So it's closer to the surface, so it gets more air. And for the ASCs, I will be installing the Spin Pro 165 uh, from Jetty. Uh, they run on 12S. Really amazing stuff. I've got four of them. Uh, and uh, of course, there's telemetry and I still have uh, to explore so many things on these ESCs. Really amazing stuff with the telemetry. And I have all the hatches or the servos are cut already in here. Uh, thick carbon, this is like uh, one millimeter, very strong. And for the ESCs, I have these hatches also big. I will make some cuts in them so the air will go inside and cool the ESCs. And yeah, so uh, all that will be in the next video. All right, I think that's it for this video. Uh, obviously, it's a big project and that means it will take time. And so it will take also time for me to upload videos. But we're getting there and hopefully I want to finish this plane before the summer. And so before I end this video, I want to say a huge thanks to each and every one of you guys uh, for your support and watching my videos. This year was the most successful year on this channel. It got around 45 million views across all the videos. And that is honestly amazing. And of course, none of that is possible without you guys watching the videos and without your support. So thank you so much for that. And of course, huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. Uh, their support over the years is... Uh, really amazing i cannot say thank you enough guys uh you're the reason that i can build those expensive projects and share them with everyone so thank you thank you so much so this is the last video of this year i hope you all have great holidays and happy new year and hopefully the next year is going to be much much better than this one and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye